Right now, a WLKY News special presentation. Kentucky, home to the greatest two minutes in sports. Churchill Downs in Louisville, known for the iconic Twin Spires, likely one of the most recognized symbols in all of sports. It's one of the oldest tracks in the United States, known for the biggest race in the world, the Kentucky Derby. Churchill Downs is tradition, but with a twist. The best part now, American Pharaoh continues his training back in Louisville at Churchill Downs at the Bob Baffert Barn. He'll race through the end of the season with a likely season and career ending race in the Breeders' Cup Classic at Keeneland in the fall. Farrow now seven of eight career wins. Those seven wins, all grade one wins. Five million dollars in earnings. From Belmont Park in New York City, I'm Fred Cowgill, WLKY Sports. Kentucky Derby 134 will also be remembered for the heroic performance by eight bells, trying to become just the fourth Philly to ever win the run for the Roses. Finished a gutty second, but after the race, broke both front legs and was humanely destroyed on the track. Reaction from trainer Larry Jones and veterinarian Larry Bramlage. Losing, uh, losing animals like this isn't fun. You're watching a WLKY special presentation, Derby Day Live. I'm Vicki Dorch, along with sports director Frank Cowgill. Breaking news here at the track this morning. The favorite, Forte, is out of the race. This is all, all that will be talked about between now and 6.57 or so. I mean, it's going to eat people up in a lot of ways. And I mean, a lot of them are big picture issues about the sport, where it's going, what are the protocols, why is this happening. There'll be people who are very upset because they wanted to see this horse run, and they'll be and maybe think that this is being overprotective. But then there's a whole bunch of other people on the other side saying you're not being protective enough. So I think the good news about it is it will continue a discussion about the safety of the game, the future of the game, which this is the most visible race and the in the state world. vet disqualified the horse exactly. this morning. Exactly. Here are the best odds from best to worst after the first day of betting. Of course, these are going right. to change a lot with the favorite being yes. out. Yes, ma'am. No doubt about it. Forte was the betting favorite as well as the morning line favorite. He was 7-2 to two in the first day betting, but now he is scratched. So these odds will change shortly if they haven't already. Tappa Trice inherits the favorite's role at 5-1, to one, followed by Angel of Empire, the Arkansas Derby winner, Derma Sotogake, 8-1, uh, to one, and two fills, 9-1, to one, which I thought was a bit of a surprise given he is a relative long shot, all things considered. The WLKY Sports Desk is sponsored by West Shore Home. Hello again, everybody. Churchill Down Spring Meet Mace is a move to Ellis Park starting this Saturday. It buys time for the historic track to start solving its problems after the deaths of 12 horses there since April. Longtime Kentucky trainers like Kenny McPeak understand the sport is at a crossroads. Horses don't break down regularly. It, but it does happen, and it is part of, I guess you could say, the process. It's devastating for us that when it does happen. This is the view from Kenny McPeak's world, and he is pushing back against critics, blaming trainers for the recent uptick in breakdowns. From the outside looking in, they probably believe that we just run the horses in circles and there isn't any um, uh, thought put into it. On the contrary, this is McPeak's longtime home, Barn 6 on the Churchill Downs backside. He is a first-hand witness that critics are wrong about drugs being part of the problem. The notion that there's drugs and, and this doping process, it's ridiculous. There is not a proliferation of drugs in the sport. Horses have to run clean. What McPeak does see every day is the result of it's hundreds of years of breeding thoroughbreds, detailed in a book, Speed and the Thoroughbred. The way that a horse is, a thoroughbred's made and, and the strength of the body, yet opposed to the fineness of the legs, makes it a bit of a, you know, it's, it's a risky proposition. McPeak believes with education, more people will understand why we race horses like the joy produced when his Philly Swiss skydiver beat the boys in the 2020 Preakness Stakes, and the model that produces thousands of jobs for one of Kentucky's biggest businesses and generator of tax money. But the peak agrees that much more needs to be done and will be done for horse safety. There's tra tragedy on a rare occasion, and it is rare. And when it does happen, like I said, we, you know, horsemen are the most upset, and the people that knew the horse are, are the most upset. So there, there's a lot of um, work being done to, to continue to you know, take great care of the thoroughbred. Now, and I challenge Fred, I'm back in the saddle again. Yeah. What's it take to be a good trainer? Uh, strong heart, a lot of money, and a 
death wish. I think it, <laughs> a death wish? Right, it, I, because it, it's, it's really a heartbreaking business. I'm Trainer sure. Bernie Flint says just 10% of racehorses make a profit. And while I have no horse sense, Bernie challenges me anyway. Not just to make a buck as a trainer, but to win. Yeah. You're going to trust me with your animal. That, that's a frightening gonna, prospect. I'm going to trust with. you with the horse, and you're going to bring it over, and you're going to run the horse. Okay? okay. I'm going to. I'll put the saddle on, uh -huh. but you're going to run the horse. All right. So Maybe that means... the trainers stand with you watching the whole deal. The whole deal. You and coming over? She's and got to win. Well, we're going to win. I mean, well, you got to go over there with the positive attitude. You're going to win. All right. I'm horsing around with Bernie's four-year-old filly, yeah. Bev Z. Yeah. She's a claimer, racing's cheapest level, has just one lifetime win. I'm so excited, I can hardly think. For a day, I'm a trainer. I mean, I love this. As we saddle Bev Z, I'm hot to trot, talking with jockey Tracy Abair. You got to tell him, go to the front and improve your position. Oh, really? Go to the front and improve your position. He's teaching me. Okay. <laughs> Against all odds, the seven, Bev Z, and Fred are among the favorites at three to one. Well, yeah, I'll let you win on the seven, please. Anything else? Okay. That's it. Here it is, guys. One hundred dollars to win on the seven. Oh boy, those odds are dropping as we speak. The rest is up to Bev Z. Into the stretch, the leader Bev Z by a length and a half. Then Valencia Bay second. Go, go, go! Nearing the wire, it's Bev Z. <laughs> Every picture tells a story, and this one's worth a thousand words. No, 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 I'm, I'm taking the money and I'm running. I'm running big time. I'm unbeaten in my career, and I'm out of here. Here's to you. Fred, good luck in your career. I'm speechless. <laughs> Churchill Downs. The sweet taste of success.